Hey YouTube, this is Colette here and I wanted to do a quick video, show you some of the games I'm working on. I know there's not a whole lot of girls in the gaming community, and oftentimes we get stereotyped into a certain type of game, you know, Tetris, uh, Kingdom Hearts, stuff like that. Not that those are in, in any way bad games, but I want to show you that we do get into some other different kinds of games, so I wanted to show you more of what I'm working on myself. The first game I'm going to show you today is Time Gal. It's for the Sega CD. This case has been made by myself, it's, but it is the actual game in there. This game is a FMV game. It's pretty cool. You get to play as Time Gal. You're traveling throughout time. You get to fight different kinds of beasts. You're trying to save the world. It's pretty simple gameplay. You get to use the action button, and there's a couple different D-pad buttons that you have to press throughout the game to keep it going. The cool thing about this one is when you beat through a stage at the very end it asks you which direction you want to go or it'll ask you a different question and if you answer wrong then you gotta go back and start over. I like that myself, I like a lot of the trial and error games so I definitely would recommend that one. The next game I'm going to show you because it's right here is Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Sega Dreamcast. Spin the Demon, he has everything unlocked and we usually play on his profile, but I thought I wanted to feed it through myself. The third one's going to be coming out here in, I think, the middle of February, so I want to get practiced up and really just earn everything and say that I did it myself, you know, I actually, I did a good job. And so I've been working on buying all the characters. When you beat through this game, it uh, gives you experience points and you can go over into the secret factor and you can buy different characters. I think there's over 70 at least. And it, it doesn't let you start out with very many. You only start with about 10 or so. I'm not sure on the exact numbers on this. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head. Um, a lot of, also I want to say a lot of what I'm going to be talking about is my personal opinion. And so I definitely would like to hear your opinions on them, but none of it, I'm not saying any of it's fact or anything. Um, I love this game. It's really fun, it's easy to play, it's hard to master, so it's really good when you have friends over. They can do crazy combos and super combo finishes and just really awesome stuff. I, I like that game. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite fighting games. The next game I'm going to show you here is Saturn Bomberman for the Sega Saturn, and this is an import version of it. I love this game because it has a really awesome two-player mode. And then also the maps on it. When you go around, they're real big and they're crazy and you get to ride the hamster and all different kinds of stuff. So it's actually, I think it's one of the best Bombermans I've ever played myself. And it's definitely, I think, my favorite. Right up there with like the Super Nintendo Bomberman or Mega Bomberman's pretty good. I guess they all are good. I like a lot of Bomberman games. I own quite a few of them. The next game I'm going to show you is for the Nintendo GameCube. It's called Alien Hominid. Uh, this is a cell shaded game. I apologize for all the stickers on these cases. I haven't gotten them all cleaned up yet. I've been slowly working through the collection. There's quite a few to go through, and I honestly, on these ones, a lot of times when you peel the stickers off, it ruins the case, and the GameCube cases hold the mini discs, and I like that better, so I'm working on getting some more. Um, this game, it's real fun. It's sort of like Contra in a way where you get to go around and shoot. You're fighting aliens. You get a dress your little alien up, you know, with different hats. I think I use mine with the Viking hat a lot of the time. And I, I love it. It's crazy. I love anything that lets you have really cool weapons. It even says on the back there, your UFO has crash landed and the FBI is out to get you. Time to take them out. So it's one of those miniature epic games. I really like it. It's a blast. I, It's one to check out. Um, the next game I'm going to be showing you, I haven't really started yet. I've been seeing some reviews, and it's one that I've played a little bit of before, and it's in our collection, and I, I finally have the time, I think I'm going to play it. It's uh, Outrun 2 for the Xbox, and it is one of the ones that's only on Xbox. I'm not sure if this particular one plays on every 360. I'll have to check a list sometime and see. But uh, this one's fun because it has a lot of missions that you can beat. There's the arcade mode with a ton of different paths you can take. And then with all the missions, it has a huge replay value. I love anything that has replay value, it seems. But it's it's beautiful. It's a blast to play. I really like it. Sega did a really good job with this one. The next game I'm going to show you 
are some Famicom games, and if you've been staying pretty current with our videos, you know that I got a Famicom for Christmas, and I kind of got it early, so here are the three games that I've been working on the very most, even though there's more of them. The first one is uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, and what's funny about this game is I just want to beat any version of it. This one I finally found a continue code for, so I can kind of keep going at least back to the beginning of each level, but I also play the Super Nintendo version and the NES version, any of them. They're very unforgiving, but I, I love the games that are trial and error, so I really, I've been working on this one a lot. And then speaking of trial and error, the next game I'll be showing you is Rockman 4. And I've beat the first Mega Man, but I haven't beat the rest of them, so I've been trying to go through and practice on some of the bosses, so that way when I sit down I can seriously beat it all the way through. So this is Rockman 4. I haven't played it a super lot, but it is one of the ones I'm working on. And also, the next game, I know it's more popular on the NES, but I haven't played it. I don't. I grew up more with the Super Nintendo, and then I got an NES when I was older. So these games are still new and fun for me, and I love them. So this one is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 for the Famicom. Uh, the next game I'm going to show you here is a next generation game. It's Bayonetta, another Sega game. I must really like them right now. I've been real into the Sega games lately. Uh, Bayonetta is similar in the fighting ways of like maybe God of War. It's a beat em up sort of, but not really. It lets you have guns. There's crazy combos. It's just an awesome game. I think it was a true like thank you to their fans. It was, a lot of people say it reminds them of the Devil May Cry series, and it's made by Platinum Star Games, sorry to keep flipping this over for you guys, but uh, Platinum Star Games are, is the one that makes these, and they, uh, they're the same team that makes the Devil May Cry, so it is similar to that, so if you liked those games, maybe this will be one for you to check out. Uh, just awesome game, beautiful graphics. The next game I'm going to show you is for the Xbox 360, it's uh, Death Smiles, and at first I thought this was going to be an RPG, but then it turned out to be a 2D shoot 'em up which is one of my favorite types of games, and I don't run a whole, or across a whole lot of them for the next gen systems, so whenever I run across one I usually try and play it and beat it through, and this one I've been having a blast with, it has a kind of cool story, it's crazy, it's I, I think it's pretty myself, I like it, it's one of my favorite types of genres and types of games, so it's one that I'm, I'm having a good time beating through. The next game I'm going to show you, and once again I apologize for the stickers on the case, it's uh, Guilty Gear Judgment for the PSP. Uh, it has two different modes, a 2D beat em up mode and uh, the standard fighting mode. I think the fighting one on this is similar to the Xbox version, from what I've noticed, but I'm not quite positive on it. Uh, this one, it's developed by the same team, but this time it's published by Majesco instead of Sammy. So it's, it's a little bit different, but it still stays true to the original. What I like about the beat-em-up part of this game is I've been playing with Soul Bad Guy, and it gives you some of the background information on the different characters, and then also it lets you... Uh, use some of the same combos, so it's almost a good way to practice for the fighting game itself. I really like it, and I've been stuck on the final boss of this game for a long time. I need to just sit down and focus and beat it through, but I, I've liked it so far. And the final game I'm going to show you today is the new Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. I finally beat the game through, now I'm going back and slowly trying to collect all the coins and go all the find all the secret levels and everything. Uh, I know they don't make a ton of Mario games, so I've been kind of trying to milk it out, make it last until the next one comes out, and that's why I haven't finally beat it yet. I mean, I've beat Bowser, but I haven't collected all the coins and everything. And these aren't all the games I'm working on, but there are a lot of the ones from the various systems. I tried to pick one from each system that I'm really seriously focusing on right now. And, uh... Comment below, let us know what kind of games you're working on, what you think of some of them, or if you have any recommendations from anything I've been talking about. Uh, I definitely like to hear it, and we'll see you in the later at stuckinthe90s.webs.com.